Welcome to DC to B Revolution, helping chiropractic students think big in order to live large. I'm Noah Voles, and today I'm here with Dr. Robert Silverman. As a sports chiropractor and a certified clinical nutritionist, he contributes to major TV networks, practices full time in White Plains, New York, and specializes in innovative science based non surgical approaches to pain. He's the author of the Amazon number one bestseller, Inside Out Health, and he's got so much to share. Uh, Dr. Robert Silverman, thanks for being here. No, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to share some insight for all the students listening. Yeah, really, really appreciate it. You, um, you've done so much back in time, just a couple of years, and you were a awarded uh, Sports Chiropractor of the Year from the American Chiropractic Association. You know, I know that just didn't happen out of the blue. So maybe you could walk me through some of the stepping stones and opportunities that preceded that, that allowed you to receive that prestigious award. You know, is they're very kind of them to give me the uh, ACA Sports Chiropractor, ACA Sports Council Chiropractor Year in 2015. And you're right, it was I wasn't hatched overnight. Uh, a lot of work. You know, my initial goal when I came out of chiro school was to work with an Olympic team. And just so you know, in 2016, the medical director of the U.S. Olympic team was a chiropractor. Wasn't me, but it was a yeah, chiropractor. Bill Moreau. That is correct. Hey, I mean, what else is there to say when people say, I believe in chiropractic? You don't have to believe in chiropractic. Chiropractic is here. It's always been here. And we are thriving. So uh, for me, um, it's been since day one, a constant learning curve. I got myself involved with sports. I, I was involved in sports in high school and college. I got myself involved with the local sports teams, had some local college teams, had professional athletes coming in and out, did a lot of sports nutrition, and um, did things to help with sports injuries, you know, low-level laser therapy, active release, Graston, Factor. Uh, different types of kinesio taping, whether it was rock tape or now the performance health kind of tape, dynamic taping is big. Uh, a lot of exercise rehab and I became involved and I was always lecturing and they felt that, you know, through the messaging, I was worthy of that award and I really appreciate that. And, you know, you don't do this for awards because I always say to everybody, you know, I'm very lucky. I get to lecture 43, 44 weekends a year there's somebody in the back of the room who just doesn't have the personality to get up in front of everybody that's the greatest chiropractor in the world and is helping people. And that's what chiropractic is, the ability to help people. But to think of it in a sports module, there isn't an NFL team that doesn't have at least one chiropractor. Virtually every, uh, you're shaking your head, yes, yeah, it's true. Almost every basketball NBA has a chiropractor. So. It is such a viable, great venue for us to really consider why you're a student and things to really look and aspire to. Yeah, so I, I wanted to unpack that just a little bit. You mentioned, you know, Raston, Kinesio Tape, ART, you know, mm -hmm. um, were those instrumental in you becoming a sports chiropractor? Or what, what do you feel like is the, the secret weapon of sports chiropractic? You know, it wasn't any, people say it's one thing, and I'd love to say it's one thing. It's really not one thing. It's a whole bunch of stuff. So to be sports chiropractic, one, you have to have an interest in sports. And you have to understand the mantra uh, to work with an athlete. The, hey, just tape it up. I don't care that it's hanging off. And you look at him like, what are you doing? So that's number one. So active release was a great choice because it's a soft tissue technique. So let's go through what I would recommend for sports chiropractic. Number one. First and foremost, know the, know the body, know your anatomy, know your biomechanics, understand that. That's key, your physiology, so get that down. Learn how to adjust every joint, not just the spine, but every joint, big thing. Understand a good soft tissue technique, whether it be active release, any kind of myofascial, really know it, own it. Number two, instrument assisted. The instrument assisted technique that I really love is Factor. Todd Riddle and Tom Hyde do a great job with that. So you're essentially, it's sort of like a Graston tool, but there's a lot of motion. It is really made 
for the athlete because there's motion involved, there's weight, and there's taping involved, and there's rehab. Um, laser, key component. I mean, you know, I happen to use the Oconia laser. I think uh, we'll be talking about that at Cairo Sushi. I think that's a great option. Laser to stimulate healing at a cell level to help people get over injuries, but also what laser does is great, increasing ATP, is enable people to perform better. Nutrition, sports nutrition was a big thing and one of the reasons that they really looked to me, understand the idea of nutrition, what diet works for athletes. Not just athlete, but athletes. Each athletic event is different. Understand that. Understand nutrition, how it aids in sports recovery, in sports performance. And finally, you know, you may want to consider some sort of different um, traction or decompression unit because there's a lot of lower back injuries in sports. And remember, if you're going to do sports, you got ankle injuries, you got knee injuries, you got hip injuries, you got shoulder injuries, wrist injuries, and the like. It's not just the spine. You can have to incorporate the whole body. The best thing to do is get involved with your local sports teams, peewee to professional sports injuries or sports injuries. Yeah, you know, um, I can't help but think like that sounds like a lot of, you know, a lot of additional things. And, you know, you seem to be the king of getting all the diplomates and, you know, everything else. Like, how do you organize that? And did you know, did you have kind of like a step by step approach? I mean, you seem like a really high energy guy. So I imagine like it was no, no, uh, not a huge challenge for you. But as a student, like, how, do, how would you uh, recommend kind of, you know, accumulating all of those different skills? That's a great question. My suggestion is, and I see so many students through two or three different courses at one time, you're not going to hone anything. So even though you see, remember, I've been practicing 17 and a half years. I graduated University of Bridgeport College of Chiropractic December 1999. I'm an old guy. Nevertheless, one thing at a time and hone it and own it. You know, after practicing five or 10 years, you'll do great. By the way, I understand, but I'm a student. I got to go out. What do I do? How do I compete? Well, you're not competing because you're coming out. You're fresh. You're new. You're energetic. You have new information at your fingertips. Pick something that you like and keep adding and adding and adding. People say, why well, have such energy? Every day I believe I'm a better doctor. I think I'm a better doctor today than I was yesterday. And I'd like to believe tomorrow I'm gonna to be better because I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna analyze what I did today, I'm gonna to go over it. It may be just practicing talking to a patient. It's gonna be some articles that I read tonight. It's gonna to be having a conversation with you after this. It's a learning experience, it's a daily learning experience. The students rush it so much, sometimes they rush and they get what you would call a speeding ticket. One thing at a time. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. I've always been a, a fan of what I call deep work, of really like immersing yourself in something fully until you really feel like you have something authentic to offer you know everybody else because you you own that material before you start to share it with others and you know i appreciate how you reiterated that um you know i wanted to shift gears just a little bit and ask you about um you know your success in terms of radio and tv and um you know your book being a bestseller um you know were those just uh did that just come from your involvement and activity in the community or was there something specific you did to allow yourself those opportunities? Yeah. Um, you know, I, and I, I do believe that we need, and, and part of the reason I went for radio books and TV and I've been doing a lot and I just got signed to, to reoccur as a, believe it or not, as a health expert in a local TV in New York Congrats. is because you know, uh, you know, sometimes people don't understand what chiropractic is. And the mistake that chiropractors have made, the number one mistake that we've made is we let everybody else message who we were. Nobody should be doing that but us. So I really took it as a personal assault, an assault on my uh, chosen profession for a lifetime that people really weren't explaining what we do. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're a chiropractor, you just adjust. Or you're a chiropractor, you're not a real doctor. Or you're, I heard if you go to chiropractor, you have to go forever. So, number one, when somebody says, I heard if you go to chiropractor, you have to go forever, I'll give you my answer to that. Why wouldn't you want to? You go to the dentist forever. Why wouldn't you want to take care of yourself? 
why wouldn't you want to optimize your health? So that usually changes them. But the radio and the TV, um, that was something that kind of got thrust upon me and I got in and, um, you know, it's just a great vehicle to allow everybody on a different stage, whether it's a local stage or a national stage, know who you are and know who chiropractors are. And the response from the other chiropractors have been really positive. So when you practice, you're trying to help that one person in front of you and you start your little fire slowly, you know, one by one by one. And that's how you do it. Number two, then I began to lecture a lot and I got to the doctors. The book was my approach to get to the masses and to get a cumulative effect because you want to keep messaging who you want. You want to share what you know, even if it's somebody who says, I disagree with you, which is fine because now you have that conversation. And the conversation is, from our perspective, and we're a chiropractor, we're at the table now. We deserve to be eating at the same table as everybody else, if you will. So that was the reason that I did it, and that's why I'm gonna continue to do it, and more chiros should do it. Hey, listen, I mean, we were just talking, we're doing social media. I did a Facebook Live today. This is our own TV show. We're getting it out there. We can have a viral effect, hopefully, a million people. I mean, there's a chiropractor that's got a 1.7 million followers. This man is killing it on Facebook. You know exactly who I'm talking about. He does a great job. You know, there's other there's osteopaths that have 1.5 million followers. So there are many vehicles to get our message out. So I chose that because I wanted to be the Cairo standing out there. And I strongly recommend everybody being the Cairo in their office when they graduate from school and just going to their local library. Yeah, here's a great one for you. I gave a talk in the local library. There were 15 people there. They really weren't interested. I think they gave them some free coffee and donuts. So I gave the talk, did not care that they were disinterested. Some people we won along the way. I got a call. The fourth largest library in, New York, in, in the U.S. is the New York City Public Library. They only pick New York Times bestsellers. Mine's an Amazon bestseller. She said, you gave a great talk. I was so interested, why don't you come down and give a talk, you'll be our first chiropractor. So the point is, just keep going. It's gonna work for you. When your intentions are good, people will get better, and they will talk positively of you, and every chiropractor will have what they want, a practice. Yeah, I mean, that's really what we all want, you know? We want uh, a thriving practice, we wanna get the message out there. And um, just you know, curious, you said you really took ownership of your messaging um, you know, what do you feel like is your message? What do you feel like it is that you're really putting out there? Well, for me, it, it, the name of the book is Inside Out Health. I'll do a quick little promo, Inside Out Health, a revolutionary approach to your body. Because I think what we do, you know, is interesting. When I went to Cairo school, that was the one question I kept asking. Okay, I chose this. Chiropractor changed my life. I want to change people's lives like my chiropractor changed my life. How do we fix the body from inside out? And I think that's what we do, because when you think about chiropractic and the advent of all the sports and functional medicine, it's looking at systems, which there are only 11 to 14 systems, but not symptoms. I think the medical model looks at symptoms. I have a headache. Here's, a, here's an aspirin. My shoulder hurts. Here's a topical. Here's this. Here's that. And we usually say, no, wait a minute. Your shoulder hurts, why? Well, because your scapula, your muscular system, your gut's off, your this is off, your that's off. So I think my message is to look at, one, to value health. Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. Jim Rome said that. But look at the body from the inside out because that's where the value is. So if you talk to a good doctor, and it could be a medical doctor also, of course, he could say to you, if we could metaphor, it would be as if, you're looking in a mirror right now, and I see Noah right there, and I can see your face, I can see your posture, I can take an MRI, I can take an X-ray, I can take blood work. It would be a really good doctor. For me, Inside Out Health is getting behind that mirror and explaining to everybody why they have the reflection that they do and how we can change it. And that's what chiropractic can do. Yeah, brilliant. I, I love this idea of Inside Out Health, and I, and I love the idea of really like, um, you know, working with the systems instead of the symptoms. I mean, that's a, that's a beautiful metaphor. Um, you know, you, I, I'm sure over time with all the skills, you've really developed this, this ability to critically think 
in a way that helps your patients and develop the palpation skills. And so as a, you know, a young doctor, a student in school, um, you know, what, what would you recommend for me in order to really develop those skills so that I can, you know, move in the general trajectory that you're moving in? Well, you're talking about palpatory skills, really good. Uh, practice, keep practicing. Get, get on every student that you can. Doesn't even have to be students in your class. Get on your friends, practice. There's some great technique uh, instructors out there if you really want to learn how to open a joint, correct restrictions, obligation, dysfunction, whatever, whatever camp you're from. Uh, some guys out there that do a great job of adjusting. Um, Mitch Malley, a good friend of mine, I strongly recommend uh, getting a Dr. Malley course. Dr. Charteret, great choice. Don McClure uh, will be at Pro Sport with me in December. I'm sure Cairo Sushi's gonna have three, four, five guys. Ask those guys, say, hey, what are you doing? You know what they're gonna tell you? Man, I'm touching people all day. I'm feeling and letting it go. You can't get better hiding in a closet. You gotta get your hands on some people. Because that's what chiropractic is, right? Isn't that what it means in Latin, done by hand? I think you froze, my man. Oh, yeah, it, it's coming back around. It, There's it, it, no worries. You were looking yeah. good. You were looking good. Everybody yeah. saw you. You had, yeah, yeah, you had the, uh, the smile on, so it worked. So, um, so I wanted to transition into, into Cairo Sushi and talk about that. I mean, you know, there's so many chiropractic events out there these days. Um, mm -hmm. You know, everybody's doing something spectacular. Um, you know, what are you most excited about in terms of Cairo Sushi and in terms of your involvement there? You know, Tristan and Cairo Sushi has done a great job. I know you're working with him and kudos to him. Thank you. So what he's done is he's bringing the energy back to chiropractic. He's bringing all these different speakers. So there's no like five hours of lecture or this. Everybody is going to come in and the best that everybody has. You hear a lot of different voices from across the chiropractic spectrum and it's uplifting. You know, I speak to, so I had a doctor in today. He wasn't a Cairo and man, I mean, I was ready to commit suicide when I was done with the guy. He was looking at me and he goes, let me give advice. And I'm like, I, it's free. So, okay, great. Go ahead. It's all about the money. The patients don't care. And I'm like, dude, dude, I got it. No problem. You're just not happy. Cairo Sushi is not going to make you feel like that. And you shouldn't. We have the greatest job in the world. We get to help people. Cairo Sushi is bringing that energy back to chiropractic because that's what we are. People say I'm. energy get the doctor and said this doctor needs a doctor this doctor needs a heart transplant he has none this person standing in front of me a doctor needs some energy and if you're not happy about life i mean it's a gift it's good you know i'm not a philosophical guy so cairo sushi is going to pump you up give you a lot of different voices and that's what i liked about it they didn't ask where i was they just said could i come and spread my message which is great because sometimes different symposiums, you have to have this one message. You pick and choose and you hear everybody. Everybody should come to Cairo Sushi. He's doing a great job. And if you want to feel good, especially as a student, and you want to start seeing people who are practicing and positive about where you'll be because you and everybody in your class and out there is the future. You're going to make my life easier because somebody's going to see you in a year or two, move in my area, or come visit, and say, man, I saw Noah. He was great as a Cairo and he recommended you. I mean, that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. And that's what I also uh, love about Cairo Sushi. I feel like there's so much diversity. They're doing such a great job of not just bringing in the chiropractic voice, but the entrepreneurship voice, the marketing voice, all mm -hmm. the different voices that it takes to be really successful as a chiropractor. And, um, and they've been extremely generous with students and uh, allowing them to go to the conference for free, which is just, you know, blows my mind. I'm, I'm super excited about that. Um, so I know most people who watch this are going to want to come to Cairo Sushi and see you, but beyond Cairo Sushi, what's, uh, you know, where are you active? Where can people uh, learn more about you, follow you, and um, glean the insight that you've gained over the last 17 years in practice? Real easy. Let's go social media first. Facebook, at Dr. Robert Silverman. Instagram, Dr. Robert Silverman, and Twitter, 
Dr. Dr. Rob Silverman. Not enough uh, characters. My website, drrobertsilverman.com. Feel free to email me at info at drrobertsilverman. I always answer questions. I'm always willing to talk to students. I'll be at Cairo Sushi. If you go to my website, drrobertsilverman, my schedule, come check out a seminar. If you have a problem, let me know about the seminar. I'll get to that sponsor. We'll get you in. We'll make it happen for the students. Awesome. So appreciate that and hope to see you at Life West one of these days. Would love to have you down in our neck of the woods sharing all of your passion and all of your knowledge. Um, so this has been a production of DC to be Revolution, helping chiropractic students think big in order to live large. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave some comments below. We'd love to get this conversation started about sports chiropractic and the, the innovative approaches that we offer as chiropractors to really help athletes and you know to help all individuals, because really everybody's an athlete. So thank you once again, Dr. Robert Silverman, for uh, being on the channel. Noah, thanks for having me, and I'm going to take you up on that Life West offer. And everybody, see you at Cairo Sushi.